had this idea that is pretty common in the valley, which is like, you know, we can think about profits at some point, but it's, how can I get as many bodies to the The way you can explain it is you have to kickstart the flywheel in each city. So he sends a strike team of employees into each city, floods Craigslist with ads, the free ride, floods people into, you know, basically the town square, handing out coupons to drive or ride with Uber, mm -hmm. and get as many bodies in the back of the seat as possible, and then take that and replicate it, you know, over and over, and do that long enough for a long enough period of time, and take over as many things as possible, and then uh, eventually you fairly keep making money off of that, provided that there are no actual competitors to your business. How exactly is it supposed to pay off? The thesis put forth by Travis was... Once you get to the tipping point in any given city that Uber is part of your daily life, then eventually they get to a point where maybe they can hike the rates, maybe they can lower the, the payments for drivers, but it doesn't matter because people are paying and people are going to keep using it because it's part of their daily life. So the plan at the beginning was spend whatever money Uber needed to spend to get people hooked on Uber make it an essential part of people's lives. And at some point, this has become so big, so many people use it, that a profit will just inevitably come. The maximum you like to use internally was transportation as reliable as running water. Make it ubiquitous, make Uber an inevitability in every city, in every country, around the world, and then you can stop burning money to make it work. And like, how unusual was that model? Burn money, build saturation, hope for a profit. I mean, Facebook's actually a good example of that. You know, they burned a lot of money with no advertising for a very long time. Mm -hmm. The other one that is a pretty classic case is Amazon. From the beginning of that business, Jeff Bezos actually trained Wall Street to allow Amazon to lose money because they were often... Right losing money every quarter and maybe break even at best and his whole thing was we need to spend money to make money we need to get as many people as much as possible and that situates them into making us part of their everyday lives and clearly that theory is right so investors are going to be used to such a business model for a long time and they will be happy to spend money into the industry back to get it and they did in a really huge way It's gonna rain. Not only are they actually paying for riders and drivers to take rides, but schedule a reminder in one hour to cover the bed. And you know, forget about the consequences you can actually afford to pay them off. So whether that's in you know Southeast Asia where they were literally allegedly bribing police officers to operate in certain areas, or in China where they were wow. millions of dollars. Some Come on. Why did Susie respond well today and not previously?
they are having to be in all these other ways around the world just to keep on growing and growing into new markets beyond the world. And you'll see it, right? That this will still someday pay off in terms of profit. Yep, that's right. Okay, so they're getting a foothold into all these markets in cities across the world. We didn't see it. Like it was all going according to plan. We're starting to come up with our needs in the way that it sounds like it's expected. Yeah, I mean, if you think back to 2015, 2016, Uber was on top of the world. Uber, okay? Doing a great job, right? We all like Uber. Here's the thing. Every decade, there's a company that comes along and changes everything. It all started as a ride-sharing app. So ride-sharing company's most recent funding round giving Uber a valuation of just in $68 billion. Now that brings they were open in almost every continent. They were actually questioning their competition. This was on a deathbed, basically. They were trying to get people to use the service, but it seems Rhonda. that Uber really no. was going to win. And then 2017. Crisis after crisis, including accusations of stealing self-driving technology from Google and protests by drivers. Hashtag link Uber. Uber deleting their Uber app because of Uber's link with President Trump. But today, the CEO of Uber is out. And that's the result that led Travis Kalanick to resign after months of turmoil. Just a lot of this stuff cemented the idea in people's heads that Uber is this great, grotesque company that I didn't use the product. And I think the thing that people didn't really quite realize was that that actually really affected their business. People started actually using Uber as a way to say, I don't use the product. They wanted to have to drink and sort of like survive this competitor. It's a fear that ultimately never ends for them. Suze! Touch!
Go, 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 go. Hey Laura, you you got Susie or Susie come, Susie come, and it seems like Susie come. They were remaking the whole autonomy, right? I That's, mean, I remember when the idea of a gig worker was howdy. totally novel and new, and and they were the ones offering it to folks, and this was going to upend how people were working. And now, think of how many business are hi hi. DoorDash or TaskRabbit or whatever, it's really not fundamentally that difficult of a business when you can easily replicate it as a competitor. Mm -hmm. And I think the idea that this business is not that defensible really came on quickly, especially when Uber was having just a nightmare 2017, and now they have <laughs> Sabrina really scared to a lot that. of the assumptions that they had early on that Uber was going to be the only company to go to. Yeah. Right, so that's been a tough shift for them. They, have, they really <laughs> had to change their You said that's an Italian Mastiff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An Italian master? Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, no, I have to imagine no, at this point, Susie, don't want as Uber is posting Come on. billions of dollars in I, I, No, 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 no apologies. Order. They would have been that fine, I think. Those original investors in the company who bet on this dominant strategy that has not yet come to fruition are... Uh-oh, Laura. Uh, Susie's bleeding. No, I think, I think you, when you shocked her, you... Everyone who got she, in please check. Either she's bleeding or I, I think I cut myself on her, her, her bells. That's not good. Jesus. It's not her, it's me. Bought the idea and sit on their investment for years. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get to an initial public offering, which is when you and me can actually buy shares of this company, those early investors can sell their shares at an insane I'm glad we figured that out.